Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip on how to generate a custom stamp in review. So this will not be a way on how to formulate a custom JavaScript window that will populate for you when you place a stamp. However, this is to create a custom stamp, maybe for a seal and a signature, or maybe a custom stamp with some dynamic fields for date and maybe file location or user. So today we're gonna hop on in into review and show you how you can do this in a, just a couple steps. Alrighty, so now that we're in review, let's go through and show you how this can be done. So in review, you go up to the tools menu. From the tools menu, you have stamps. And in here is a list of stamps that has been saved into your stamp folder. Stamps are saved as .pdf extensions. So if I go down and change my stamp folder, this is where all of my stamps live. Um, that is saved for the population of that stamp location within review. Now you can change this to have your stamps populate from a different folder. However, that default folder will populate all of your stamps here. Now, if it's not in the default folder, you can, however, import them to show them here or add the stamp once it's been placed into a tool set so you always have access to it. So there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm gonna import it for this first one and then for the second one that I create, it will be in the stamp folder itself. But in order to go through and create one, you just go to create stamp. From here, you get to go through and name this stamp, whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna name this one quick tip stamp. Then you get an option of the authorship, the template. I'm gonna do text with border. The size of the stamp itself. And then what type of blend color mode. I highly recommend you checking out ATG's YouTube channel in order for you to understand these different blend modes. It would take a little bit longer than a quick tip video. It is doing custom stamps. It's ATG USA on the Morning Coffee Review uh, YouTube channel. The opacity is going to be 100, rotation, I'm going to do color black for my font and my outline, because again, I'm doing text with border, is going to be black too. I'm going to hit OK. So from here, I can change the size of the stamp with these blue little indicator icons. Um, the name of this is going to be quick tip stamp. That's fine. We'll keep that. But I want to add a dynamic date to this in order for it to populate when I place this. So all I need to do is go to my text selection. I'm going to place some text below here, just like this. And then you get this dynamic field in any text box that you open up in the stamp creation. So from here, I can click the drop down. And for this one, I'm going to have my month with a slash. And then we're going to do my year. I forgot day. So month and then slash day and then slash year. Great. So from here, then I'm going to go through and move this to here so I can center it on the page. There we go. And I want to center this there. And then I'm going to change this font to black. And this looks good. You can just right click and hit save. I'm going to do save as because I'm going to show you the import method because I'm going to save it to my disk out of that stamp folder. Save the desktop. Hit yes. Replace that one because I've already done this before. Wink, wink. And we'll go to tools, stamp, and we don't see it in here, right? We don't see the quick tip right after P. So what we need to do is we need to import this. So that way it shows up here, or I could go through and just place it on a PDF and then save it to one of my tool sets if I wanted to do it that way. Uh, but for this instance, I'm gonna go to stamps. I wanna import this stamp. So I'm gonna go to my desktop, hit open, and now I will have access to that stamp right here. And then again, I can go through open up a PDF because we're just going to place this stamp here, go to tools, stamps, and then from here, I'm just going to go through and grab that quick tip one. If you left click just to place it, it's at the scale of whatever you created the stamp at. If you left click, hold and drag, it's going to be whatever you scale it to be. So just being aware of that, there's that dynamic field that populated of information for my date. So again, that field has different items that you can go through and have it auto populate. This isn't the JavaScript window that allows you to do checks for like an, an invoice or anything like that, or an approval stamp. Um, that takes a little bit extra. There is a morning coffee review video on ATG's YouTube channel that talks about how you can go through and do this. It's about an hour long versus this quick tip video, which we don't have time to do here. Um, let's go through and talk about how we can create a custom seal with a signature maybe. So we're going to go through and do that. I'm just going to go and create another stamp and I'm going to name this MCR logo. 
This would be by importing the seal as an image and then also your wet signature that you scanned in, you created an image as well. So I'm gonna do MCR logo, blend mode, it's gonna be blank, sorry, template, blend mode's gonna be normal. I actually, I'd probably do screen, just because of how it will show up, it doesn't overwrite the back, but if you wanted it to overwrite the back, you probably want it to be something different, like normal. Um, and then I'm just gonna do black, I'm not gonna have any writing, but we'll just put that there. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger, and then from here, what I can go through do is go to tools and go to markup and image. And then you can place your two images of your signature and also your um, seal. So I'm gonna go through here and just place the MCR logo. You wouldn't do this for your seal because it comes in at scale. So you'd probably left click and that's the scale you want it to be, but that's too large. So I'm gonna left click, hold and drag, and then go over here and delete this. Now you can shorten the box because de depending on the color mode or the blend mode, um, it's gonna see a white border or not around it. So you may wanna shrink it, but if you have it larger, I'll show you this. And then I'm just gonna hit save as, and if I save it to this folder, it auto populates in my options of stamps. So I'll see it here as MCR logo, hit exit, go back, tools, stamp, and quickly place this MCR logo, and there we are. But as you can see, it's this full realm. So depending on your different blend modes, um, it's gonna be the full box itself. So just be aware as you go through and look at this. Um, I guess screen wasn't the actual one, probably multiplies what you may want so you can see the background information. But anyways, you can go through and create these custom stamps for you. This is my quick tip today on the quick tips from Michael Chave, who is the one of the hosts of Morning Coffee Review. I appreciate you checking out this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any quick tips that you want to see yourself, just comment below and I will create them for you. Again, really helps out and I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.